Hi, I'm Darren Thomas here on City Talk, president of Thomas Media Group, host of the annual Columbia Black Expo, and I'm here today to talk about the 2018 Columbia Black Expo Economic Empowerment Summit. Power of Praise, this is a, a partnership with a local church, and this year we're fortunate to have a relationship with Word of God Ministries and Pastor Eric Davis. We invite you to come out and fellowship as we lift up praise and we talk about our spiritual connection um, with, as associated with the Black Expo event. Expo officially kicks off on Thursday morning with our Black Expo Empowerment Breakfast. This is a, the first time we've done an empowerment breakfast in the past years. We've done a kickoff reception, doing things a little different. Um, our guest speaker is a young lady, Miss Miles, who is a, uh, a very powerful, high-profile African-American female with Dominion Power. We're all familiar with Dominion Energy and uh, their quest to help us in this community uh, with uh, the, the transition with SCANA, S-E-N-G, and uh, we invited them to be a part of the Black Expo uh, Empowerment Weekend and really talking about how Dominion, as an entity, will empower all of South Carolina's citizens, particularly those in the Midlands, particularly those uh, from the minority community. So we will kick off our the Black Expo weekend with our, our breakfast, empowerment breakfast, Brooklyn Baptist Church from 7.30 until 9. This will be the 14th annual Black Expo Charity Golf Tournament. This year we've moved the tournament to Wood Creek Farms. Uh, they're in Northeast Columbia. Again, a great uh, event as we raise money for the Judge Matthew Perry Scholarship Fund, as well as the Clyburn Golf Center and the First Tee Program. Very excited this year. This year we will actually be honoring with the Trailblazer Award, Dr. Charles Waddell, who's Associate Athletic Director at the University of South Carolina for his efforts. We, uh, we welcome uh, Coach Don Staley and USC football coach uh, Will Muschamp, who will be there at this golf tournament. Uh, this is a great event, a great tournament. I think one of the highlights for us, having put on this event for many years, after the golf tournament uh, ends that day, we go into the eighth annual Taste of Black Columbia. Uh, this event has grown tremendously over the years, and thankfully to a partnership with Jack Daniels, as well as the South Carolina Department of Agriculture. Friends, we will welcome uh, over 30 chefs uh, that will, uh, chefs, caterers, and restaurants will be participating. This event will be at the South Carolina State Museum from 7.30 until 11. Um, chefs will be vying for four awards, the best dessert, the best savory dish, the best display, and the Certified Grown SC Award. This is the award given to the chef that produces the best dish using South Carolina-based agricultural products. But each category carries a $1,000 prize, it's a great event, a great networking event, lots of fun, lots of excitement, and to top it all off, we've got great entertainment. R&B sensation Silk will be performing at that event. Um, it's just a wonderful time to come out, take part in the Jack Daniels Lounge, sample food from 30 different restaurants, and just having a great evening. So this year, our focus is more of an empowerment. We have five pillar areas, health, because your health is your wealth. We'll be looking at health disparities and how we as a community can look at our health to really learn, uh, lean towards longer living, uh, healthier living, which is also more economical living. Then we've got our jobs, our jobs fair, looking at career opportunities. We empowered the same uh, event down in Charleston. We were very excited. Young lady who came to the Charleston Black Expo Empowerment uh, Summit and got hired on that, on that day at the event. We're looking for those same kind of successes with this event, but our job fair is a huge part of the Black Expo Empowerment Summit. Uh, then you've got your, our, our education. We've got several colleges from around the Southeast all there uh, talking with young people about their college choices, but it's really beyond just their higher education. We've got friends there talking with folks in school just about how to prepare, better prepare our kids for the SAT, standardized tests, but we're also doing FAFSA assistance on site, helping families get over the hurdle and the intimidating factor of, uh, of completing FAFSA forms and whatnot. Then there's the wealth generation side. Thanks to our partnership with Merrill Lynch, we're, doing, we're teaching individuals the basics of investing, um, understanding the stock market, but then long-term planning. Uh, how do you build generational wealth? How do you, gener how do you build generational wealth for your families? 
Um, how do you employ strategies to move your family forward? And it's bigger than just wills and trusts, but how do you set things in motion that your children and your grandchildren down the road can make better economic decisions based on uh, the economic uh, 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 processes that you put in place for your family. And then the, the fifth component is, of course, entrepreneurship, business. Uh, we're doing everything from helping people start business, eight steps to starting a business, thanks to our partnership with the SBA, but also how to grow your business um, through federal contracting. We've got representatives from the Office of Business Opportunities with some of the new strategies that the Office of Business Opportunities of the city has in place. Uh, we have several different elements that will, uh, that will make up our pillars. And to top it all off, we've got two great speakers, Dr. Dennis Kimbrough, professor at Georgia State University, and as our keynote speaker, young lady that we are excited about. You know, you see her on CNN, Angela Rye, political commentator. She'll be there as our keynote speaker at the, uh, at the Black Expo uh, Empowerment Summit. When the expo is over at two o'clock, final phase, the Black Expo Day Party. We thought we'd do something a little different this year as the expo ends at two o'clock from three, well, from two o'clock to five o'clock, the Black Expo Day Party, all there at the, uh, at the Columbia Convention Center. You go to our website, blackexposouth.com, blackexposouth.com. Please follow us on Facebook. Um, we're doing a lot of campaigns, a lot of special promotions on Facebook. Black Expo South is our Facebook page, or on Instagram, or on LinkedIn, um, as well as, of course, you can give us a call in the office at 254-6404.